Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. This is the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, this is the man I used to see. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, the internet. Okay, Mr. Fred, um, this is a nice surprise appearance. I, we were all not expecting them, but they've come all the way from Nigeria. This is a matriarch of the family, <laughs> Mommy <laughs> Sophia, right? Yes. That's Fuzia, that's Abdul, and that's another Abdul, so senior Abdul. Okay. Yes, and they have a beautiful story. Um, Stand here. Yeah, yeah, they've been on the whole recording thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's official photographer, Umar. <laughs> so, Mr. Fred is here finally. Okay. Maybe we can tell him what brought you here then. Okay. Again, yeah. my name is Abdullah Kimoyi. <laughs> my name is Abdullah Kimoyi. I'm also a farmer okay. in the southwest Nigeria. Ah. Uh, we started with the cash um, crop. Yes. Then uh, along the line, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be, we just venture into the farming. Yes. I'm a uh, what's it called? Construction and fabrication. Okay. And along the line, where we get money, we just put it in the bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And at the end of the day, I met a man yeah. who is an engineer too. Okay. And I was looking for him, you know, one of these salar yeah. uh, you know, period to give him meat. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I couldn't see him. So yeah. later, after two weeks, I now saw him. Where are you? Where have you been? He said, you need to find say far what is it far far what is I, I love that I yeah. want to have more information yes. concerning it. Mm -hmm. So along the line, you know, we now told this into planting. I said okay, so I switch on to the internet. Yes. We need to look for information, yes. you know, concerning farming. So along the line, uh, I was able to you know catch up with uh, cashew. Okay. You know, we started with cashew. Yeah. And the more I go in there, you know, I live in Lagos. Okay. You know, I move from Lagos yeah. to the farm. And the more I go there, I find out that wow, there's a lot of information here, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. We we bring in there. Then I have these uh, we planted the maize on 60 acres, nice. you know, and um, some people started coming in to yeah. steal. Yeah. So we got a full animal to help. Take you know, take care of it. I love the night. The full animal, I, you never know that the full animal is a... Uh, <laughs> no, that is, is, that is a full animal. Uh -huh. You know, it's black like this. Yeah. And you know, usually full animal are light, little, light and thinning, yeah, you know, yeah. in nature. But this one looks like the Yoruba. Yeah. So along the night, I found to know that it's a full animal. I said, wow, I've been looking for you. Uh -huh. You're going to help me do cartoon. Yeah. You know? And he said, but well, I told him, don't go away with my, my cat. He said, ah, that he, he, you know, somebody we employed paying 10,000, yeah. you know? And, and I told him, don't run away. He said, he, that he, is, he has uh, up to 40 cat. Mm. Then my partner said, wow, mm -hmm. this, is, this, is, this is a very great investment, yeah. you know, too. So from there, we move to get four goods. Mm -hmm. You know, this house are good. Yes. This red, uh, yeah, yeah, the red you know, and um, from there, we, that four now is we are closing to more than 40. Wow. You know, yeah. and they just, we don't have this special yeah, yeah, yeah. feed that you right, have. Yeah. It's just uh, this wheat. You know, yeah. we never, we, uh, we have never used our money to buy feed for yeah. them. Yeah. And they are doing fine. Yeah. In fact, about, about one and a year. One and a half months ago, we got ten from just four. Yes, you know, That's and uh, we're like, wow. So, you know, I keep on researching, mm -hmm. and I come across, you know, where before now we were patok. Yeah. You know, when we when you face issue, mm -hmm. you know, at there we're saying, what is wrong with Africa? Yeah. This is a man <laughs> who came down, you know, all the way from abroad to make us. Uh, so we're like praying, oh, so. I think about two, three days ago, I called the representative of yours yeah. in Lagos. So we to meet at Jibo site yes. in Lagos. Yes. Then I have the cost to visit Ghana, uh, to visit my mom. Yeah. You know. So this morning, I just told my mommy, Mommy, I want to visit so so place. Yeah. So you know me, I don't know anywhere. I just told her, I said, no, let her. So I now brought a number, mm. you know, one of your seminars yeah. you were talking yeah. about. So that's how she assisted me 
You know, getting here, yeah. you know, I use the word mad. I, yeah. I was mad. <laughs> you know, that this is more than what I'm seeing. Yeah. This is real. Yeah. You know, getting to the showroom. Yeah. And I just, I just peed. I'm yeah. not yeah. going inside. I'll take you there, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> so, so, our purpose here yeah. is to, uh, one, to have, uh, to know if this is real. Yes. Then secondly, you know, to get you know, information, mm -hmm. then totally to patronize yeah. what and what can we, you know, take to Nigeria. Yes. Tell Nigeria this is real. This is, real. This is what has brought us here. Thank you very much. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sorry for making you repeat yourself. I thought you've already spoken to And but thank you for uh, bringing them to yeah. us as well. Um, thank you. I mean, just like you saw on the internet, uh, yeah, we are a team of young people um, mm -hmm. trying to change the narrative and um, perception about agriculture in the whole of Africa. You know, once you put yourself on the internet, you're accessible everywhere. And um, I think we all have, in our own special ways, encountered agriculture in a different way and felt like, why are we not utilizing it? Why are we not, you know? Uh, harnessing the potential and all the resources that we've been blessed with um, on our continent. So yeah, we decided to also start a farm just like you and we grew our farm. I had about 250 cows. Uh, yes, I, I sold all of them in two days. Um, <laughs> um, then had about almost 300 goats as well. Um, by December we sold all of them as well. and. We, we go to a point we realize that yes we alone cannot feed Ghana even mm. but if we take a step back and we focus more on the education and the training that we've acquired over the years mm. we'll be able to build more farmers just like ourselves mm. because one of the saddest things that you hear a lot of people say is when you go into farming you lose your money and yes you will lose your money because when you want to build a house, you don't go and you start building it yourself. Yes. You look for the mason, you look for the carpenter, you look for the architect to design everything for you. Mm -hmm. But this is the case when it comes to farming. I believe that every African is a farmer at heart because of how we grew up and what we were exposed to at a very young age. Yes. But that doesn't also give us the full knowledge to able to take us from where our fathers and grandfathers are to where we want to be. It will take as doing things differently right and that's why this team decided let's take a step back from building the big farm but rather use our knowledge to empower more people so that together we can now create something sustainable and so over the past few years we've been educating on social media um, events anywhere that we can sharing our knowledge helping other farmers set up their farm um, helping bring the right genetic, you know, because if you're a farmer, if you're a goat farmer or cattle farmer and you want meat or you want milk and you bring in a goat that is a meat goat, you're not going to get the milk you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So it all starts with genetic, then it starts from keeping that genetic alive with health, nutrition, management and all of these things. So these are things that we've been cleaning ourselves with and um, you know, we all we learn every day. So we travel. I mean, I've come to Nigeria so many times. I've lived in Nigeria, oh. in Kaduna, in Nasarawa, in Anambra, in Abuja, Lagos. I think he's half Nigerian. <laughs> I'm not yet. <laughs> but um, wow. so I do understand um, the Nigerian environment. I've been to Kenya, Uganda as well, um, US all researching about this because mm -hmm. there's so much information and knowledge there mm -hmm. but who is specializing in it to be able to say i can support everybody succeed mm -hmm. you know um and that's what we are doing here so you're welcome um, you. we are here to make sure that farmers succeed yeah so whatever we can do show you tell you to make sure you succeed uh, we'll do that uh, for the sake of Mama driving all the way to bring you. Um, I'm sure what we can do is Nadia can take you around and tell you whatever that needs to be said. Um, and then I can plan. I heard you're here till. They want to visit the farm. You're here till like when? Wednesday? Yes. Yes. So then I will 
we, we can plan later yeah. and see how best we can sure. take you to the farm and yeah. spend enough time sure. and answer all your questions exactly. so that you can go to Nigeria and if not anything, just copy what we have here, paste it there. Yeah. And we have another somebody in Nigeria as well. Please touch on the fact that we've been sending exotic goats to Nigeria. He was a bit skeptical about that. Ah. You mentioned the boa. They are so big. How do we <laughs> transport all of them to Nigeria? So, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We do. To, to all West African countries, in a way. Uh, the, the need is there. You know, it, it, it doesn't exist. So we need to. The goal is not for us to bring it from South Africa and send it. The goal is for for us to breed them here so that we have enough so tomorrow if somebody also wants some can come to your farm yeah. and get it but at the moment we need to bring it right um, it's the knowledge we are borrowing is the genetic we are borrowing you know is the expertise we are borrowing mm -hmm. to make ourselves better and once we are good we can be self-sustainable for now yet yeah, some of the medications the genetic we have to go to Australia we have to go to South Africa and bring them in to West Africa because I realized there was no, no goat medications even for us, mm, yes. right? Yeah. Because goats are domesticated, just like you started with four. So somebody has five goats, he doesn't even call himself a farmer. But you think goats is, a, you know, they're just there. Mm. But I've seen a farmer in South Africa sell a goat for like $10,000. Mm. Yes. <laughs> $10,000? Yes, somebody sell a cow for $100,000. Right, so that's somebody's business. So when that person is investing that amount of money, you will invest it into medication, into feed, and so on. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot. I think when it comes to livestock farming, West Africa is quite behind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so yes, very, very behind. you know. Um, so we are trying to revive that, and we are always happy to see people like you who are also venturing yeah. because then together we can we can achieve. Thank you. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you too. I believe um, uh, by special grace of God, who we'll has it here? Yes. You know, we are we'll be going back to Nigeria. Yes. You know, we'll be working you know, closely so that at the end of the day, you know, uh, I would say we are a student, you know, under you, that um, at the end of the day, we are going to market you more you know, in the Nigerian uh, context. Majorly, you know, when you take Lagos State is just a capital. Yes, yes. You know, before now, the economic uh, uh, capital, mm -hmm. or do I say the uh, capital of Nigeria. Yes. But as it is now, you don't find any uh, farm, or sensible farm yeah. in yeah. Lagos. Yeah. You know, you move from Ogo State. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you... Uh, we are, yeah. Yeah, from Ogo State, or your state, yeah, you know. State. In the south where we do a little yeah. compared to the north. The north yeah. You know, and what they are doing in the north, it is not as um, yeah. what you are doing, you know, what we have seen you doing, you know. And I think we are still going to visit more, you know, together with my uh, management team. I'm representing Peak Yield Farms. Okay. You understand? Okay. And um, to the glory of God, yeah. I think we are going to do more together. Why not? <laughs> Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank this you. This is so the much. face I'm seeing. <laughs> so yeah, I told you you've seen today, her. I, I think I've accomplished more than 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. All right. So, you've yeah. seen Mr. Fred. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm contented with that. I'm happy you're yeah. content with that. Okay. So, I'll take you to the shop okay. and then move you around a bit. Okay. Then we come back here, okay. then I leave you in the hands of my colleague okay. so you can arrange for okay. the farm visits. Okay. And then the boa goat you talked about, yeah. there is a sales manager okay. who handles all the logistics involved in importing the animals. Okay. So when we come back here, you talk to those two people okay. and then you are in good hands. No so down there is a quick tour, you can ask all your questions, okay. then we come back again. Okay. And I'm sorry for making you climb up and down. Okay. <laughs>
in farming in Africa, Agro Ventures Shop. I call it Agro Ventures Shop because here we don't just cater to only livestock farmers' needs. We cater to all farmers, of course. But I was telling Mr. Abdul, the shop came about because when we started doing our own farming and showing people how to do it right, they would now call. I saw you feed your animal this. I saw you give your animal this vaccine. I saw you do that. How can I get some? And they were like, oh, if a lot of people are this much interested, then let's stock it so they can also buy. And as a stance in Ghana, we are the only company that is into the commercial scale production of hay. As I speak with you, hay is out of stock. What you are seeing has already been bought. The 24 boats that went to Nigeria, when they were leaving Ghana, the farmers requested for hay. They requested for vaccines. They requested for seeds. It's like they wanted to take advantage of the truck that was coming to Nigeria. So basically, I always tell people I'm not marketing because what they see us feed the animals is what we sell here. So do you have a scoop? I want to show them the, the feed. I'm sure you've heard us talk about the seeds. I feel like I've done this job 100 times. So if I am talking too fast, please pause me. No, we are enjoying it. But this alfalfa, actually in Nigeria, there is free delivery. In case you didn't know. In Nigeria, if you buy alfalfa seeds from our agents in Nigeria, it is free delivery to wherever you are. And the special thing about this is not like a modified farming in Africa grass. But we encourage farmers to get this because the protein content is high. And so at our farm, we feed it to the pregnant goats and the ones who have just delivered. It helps them produce a lot of milk. Yes. So this is not even grass, it's a leguminous plant. So that is it. And it comes in different, different um, sizes. So the 100 grams, 1 kg, and the 500 grams is available too. Because sometimes people are not so sure. They want to just try a little. They were like, sure, why not? There is 100 grams for you. So that is our power. Now let me come to the Odoku and Agoro of okay. farming in Africa okay. feed solution. That is the Sementia Dasi. This is the grass I was telling you about. It also comes in different, different packages. Because we are trying to let everybody afford it. Some people can afford this. And uh, there is something I would like to say. The foundation usually is 1 kg is equivalent to 1 acre of land. Wow. Yeah, that's the calculation, the foundational calculation. So this 1 kg estimatedly is enough to cultivate a 1 acre of land, which is like 4 plots estimatedly. So you can imagine... 6 plots. Great, thank you. So that is usually the foundation we use for that calculation. So half an acre, they will come for 500. And the way it grows so fast, you, you don't even need to put so many seeds into one hole. It's between three seeds and four seeds, and you are good to go. And then the rest, I say, leave it to Mother Nature. So this, when they buy from us, they think they will come back again. But when, once you buy this from us, we are done with you. The rest, once it goes, 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 harvest, 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 your animals will never, you know, no hunger. We fed some to their rabbits. Their north is more of cattle. They are sheep, they are goats. And the animals nearly chewed our hand Ooh. because we have made it with all livestock in mind. It has salt, so it has the taste it likes. It has special macro nutrients. We buy that part from South Africa and we specially formulate the seed. As I speak with you, there is a group uh, in Nigeria that has contacted us because they want us to come and set up a factory <laughs> to be making this. But we've told them we are trying to get a shop. We've gotten it. They are doing the legal documentation mm -hmm. so that very soon all of the machines would even be in Nigeria. So what you are seeing, this is it, 15 kg. So if you are going back to Nigeria, that we don't have it there right now. This is what I would love for you to take along okay. because the agents you called in Lagos, okay. they can easily get you any of these seeds. Okay. But these ones right now, we don't have because the shop is not ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if there is one thing you are taking away with, for me, I would encourage you to get this. Yes, okay. Yeah, we can even, sometimes some people don't even like the bucket. They want us to pour it into sacks for them. Because mm -hmm. in Ghana, we have some high ranking people who are into mass uh, purchase of this. Those people, they don't want buckets. They want huge sacks. Then mm. they just come for their thing and feed them. So I'll just run you through the rest because basically the most important ones I've shown you. These are vaccines. Like Fred said, we don't have enough medicines and vaccinations in Ghana for goods. We get these from South Africa. 
this of course poultry okay. i told you we feed uh, we attend to all farmers one thing i didn't show you is this this diarrhea powder is it's a medication every livestock farmer should have. Even at our own farm, we do our best to maintain hygiene. But rainy season always comes with challenges. Mm. Very, la last Monday we went there, it was raining. And you can see worms all over the floor. Mm. And we told people that is why we reconstruct our pens raised. If you watch any of our videos, yes, yes. our pens are raised. Yes. We are very intentional and we try to let people understand why we do what we do. Imagine the pens were not raised. The animals would come out right after the rain, lie on the floor, mm -hmm. where we can stay. Okay, so let's dive right into it. Would you mind introducing yourself to the people? Okay, I I'm Akim, Abdul Akim Oyeni, representing Pig Yield Farm. Okay. Uh, from Nigeria. Nigeria. Now, live here, I'm with Mr. Fred. Yes. Uh, uh, farm farming in Africa. Farming in Africa. Yes. I'm live in Ghana. Yeah. You know, you are taking me around. You know the farm, and I'm overwhelmingly, you know, <laughs> happy. You know, I think let me leave him to say a little before I move on again. <laughs> yes. So, like you guys know, we are here, um, and I know most of you want to reach out to us, and some of you will see our videos and wonder if we are real, if what we are saying is true. So, we were there on Friday when you came with your family yeah. to the office yeah. and said you wanted to see the farm. Exactly. If it is real. Exactly. Um, so. Now you've been here. Yep. Tell us your experience. What have you seen? Is it real? Is it not? <laughs> People, this is real. For the first time, I've seen boar goats. Yeah. Not like our goats in, Af uh, in, in Nigeria yeah. or in Ghana. Yeah. You know, it's a life, uh, uh, what's it called? Boar goats and Kalaari. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've seen so many infrastructures. I've seen uh, the feed. You know, I'm bringing the feed live to Nigeria. Okay. You know, and I believe with time, Mr. Uh, uh, Fred, you know, uh, will direct you to me. Mm -hmm. That go and meet my representative. <laughs> you know, and we we are we are happy. Yeah. Uh, we are happy. It's only God that can help us. Thank Mr. Fred, mm -hmm. who has brought in a lot of information. Mm -hmm. He just gave us a drop of it, yeah. and you know, we'll be working closely. To have more of this information we appreciate you yeah. thank you very much mr thank, fred thank you very thank you much, very much. Well. we'll um, come over and over you know to get more information and we believe we are going to grow africa together sure. you know we have in nigeria we have so many of our boys on the streets mm -hmm. they don't have anything doing yeah. even our graduates most of this company have closed mm -hmm. you know and we got natural work that god has given us through agriculture yeah you know with mr fred yeah. we are going to work together work closely take most of these boys out of the streets yeah. and ensure we give them job yeah. we are not government but we are going to make sure we give them good job yeah. you know thank you very much thank you very thank you much, very much mr thank fred you. thank so you very glad much that you came. thank you very Guys, much so <laughs> if you're if you're in nigeria wherever you are and you've been following us and you want to come and learn this farm was set up to educate all of us to make sure that the knowledge that i have accrued and travel around the world to to acquire it doesn't die with me but we can share it and therefore our doors are open wherever you are watching us and you want to learn come join us let's feed the continent together because he who controls your stomach controls you exactly right so exactly too much importation you need to start using the natural resources that you have we have here right to be able to feed ourselves so i'm very excited you are Thank we'll you meet very. um at the office on monday on monday we can God have really. more discussions exactly i know he's taking some of the cement seed to nigeria exactly start planting he's start planting. getting some feed. you know instead of me going into planting potato this time around i yeah. shelve it yeah. you know i take the cement seed to nigeria and ensure you know we grow uh, mr uh, fred yeah. you know our knowledge yeah. you know allow are people to know that Mr. Fred is real. Yeah. <laughs> I've come across a lot of people on the internet, frosters, but today I'm meeting Mr. Fred. Yeah. You know, we have been in, in, in his office, you know, in his main office, I sat yesterday with my old family. My mother was there, yeah. you know, my, my brother and everybody. Today we are live in the farm. Yeah. And Mr. Fred uh, has given us hope. Mm -hmm. I, I call it hope. Yeah. 
you understand a lot of youth you know you are you now have hope through mr fred thank you very much yeah thank, thank you, you very much thank you we appreciate you all right guys thank <laughs> you so much for watching and if you're interested in coming just let us know and we will make arrangement for you to come learn from us experience so that you can take the knowledge and build your own farm as well we will see you in another video bye bye, -bye. yeah